Am I sounding okay now? Let me know in the chat, all right? You know, it's a live game. Anything can happen, okay? Sometimes stuff gets weird, all right? A lot of wires, a lot of stuff going on in the clouds. I don't know how clouds work. I'm not a weatherman. But uh, we figured it out. I think we fixed it, and we're back. Somebody's about to get this money. I'm ready. Y'all are ready. We in here, baby. Pa-pa! Broke through the brick wall again, twice in one night. That's Liddy in the city. All right. Now, for those of you that got here late, uh, you're right on time. Because now I'm going to tell you the stuff that everybody heard already. Tomorrow is a mess. OK? The Rock and Hamilton. Yeah. It's the Rock versus Hamilton. We're going to see. We got questions about both of them. Sometimes, throughout the game, we might ask you something about, uh, you know, how they uh, relate to each other. Cool. For sure. Also, Sunday, Mother's Day. I told y'all, mama's coming, okay? Hashtag mom was funnier. That's her handle. She's going to be in the building, so that's exciting. I still got to figure out what I'm getting her. Give me some ideas. Uh, tweet me something if you, if you know what I should get my mom for Mother's Day. All right? And then Monday, we're doing the Hunger Games night, baby. That's gonna be dope, all right? Katniss Everdeen, I'm Madness Everdeen. What? <laughs> Freestyle. Let's go. That's gonna be fire, just like Katniss's dress. Okay, tonight, again, it's family game night. So it's all questions about the game that you played with your family. All right? Okay, let's get your snacks, get ready, because we about to do this. Tonight, I've got 15 questions to start out easy, but they get harder as we progress. So, you got 10 seconds to select the correct answer, make it to the end, and you take home a piece of the prize. We got $5,000 up for the taking. How much of that money will you be making? Season three is almost done. Literally, just 11 days left. The season finale is Monday, May 20th. Big news, we're now giving away a total of $125,000. Wild. Yeah, 10K in sports, 100K in trivia, 15K in words. So keep earning those points and leveling up. Tonight we're multiplying your points. Oh, that's right. Four times the points, but if you want to multiply your points even more tonight, you can purchase one of these nifty point multiplier thingamabobs right there. So tap it, tap it, tap it, tap it, tap it, tap it, tap it. If that's what you're trying to do, take the cards here. Feeling pretty magical. Oh, yeah. Take a look at this! Hi, I'm Katherine Newton. And I'm Justice Smith. We're here to tell you about our new movie, Pokemon Detective Pikachu. Which is now playing. It is? Oh, then what are we doing here? You're right, let's go! Okay. Detective Pikachu! I gotta go see that. It's gonna be dope. Uh, before we start, I'm gonna show you guys a little card trick. It's one of the first card tricks I ever learned, and it is what, what sparked my love of magic. All right? Check it out. I got a deck of cards. Ooh. Ah. Wondrous. I got two cards right here, okay? I'm gonna show them to you. Can you see them? Red six, red nine, hearts and diamonds. I'm gonna put them into the middle of the deck. Just like that, okay? I just want y'all to watch my hands. I'm not doing nothing fishy, nothing tricky. Ready? Here we go. Whoa. Snap! There they go again! That was wild! Yeah! I'm not gonna quit my day job. I'm gonna stick to the trivia, okay? Yeah. <sighs> I think I might start doing a little more magic in these pre-shows. You know what I'm saying? I got I got a lot planned. If y'all wanna see me escape from a straitjacket before the game starts, let me know in the chat. Cause I've been thinking about doing that. Or maybe like a crane suspension or some Houdini type, uh, you know, like an homage to uh, the late, great Eric Weiss. Okay, so, without further ado, let's kick it off, baby. I got the money, I got the questions, y'all got the answers, let's go! All right, babies, nothing to it but the HQ it. Let's get it cracking with question number one. 
Which of these is the name of a classic card game? Go fish, go get me a coffee, or go back to your home. Hmm. What's it gonna be? I've been playing card games since I was a little, since I was a little game show host. You wanna know the answer? Okay, it's go fish. We're starting you off with a classic on family game night. With a game that's appropriate for everybody. Except people that are uh, scared of fish. Yeah. Tell me in the chat, what's the best fish? 217,832 just got go fish. That's the answer I was looking for. That's when you put the card down. Got any uh, sixes? Go fish. The questions start out easy, but they get harder as the game goes. So don't get caught out there on a tough one without an extra life, okay? Remember, you can only use one per game, just not on the final round. So use them wisely, all right? I gotta stress that to you. All right, babies, it's time for question number two. What you gonna do? Which is one of the com uh, combatants in Rock'em Sock'em Robots? Blue Bomber, Saffron Snowflake, or Carnelian Coward? Talking about Rock'em Sock'em Robots, y'all. Mm-hmm. When you tapped out on rolling dice and throw cards, you can always turn to What happened? Oh! Woo! Oh, oh, oh. oh, that scared me. I scared myself. I just, I blew up. I blew up a lot. <laughs> Blue Bomber was the name of the robot. What the heck was that? Ah, 208,822. Just got it. Blue Bomber. Yeah, we're moving on to question number three. Here we go. What game is this New York skyscraper nicknamed after? Is it Kendama, Jenga, or Shogi? Hmm. I mean, if you spend $50 million on a penthouse here, you could call it whatever you want to. Uh, but... Thanks to its appearance, okay? 56 Leonard Street is known to locals as the Jenga Building. Jenga! 217,403. We're moving right along, babies. Ain't gonna hold y'all up. We're just gonna get to it. Get this money. Let's go. Question number four. Knocking on your door. Here we go. Brace yourselves. Sorry is closest in format to what other board game? Gomoku, Parcheesi, or Cribbage? Sorry. What's it like? Except for uh, some drastic rule changes in 2013. This game has stayed the same since the 1930s. For about a century, it's been a few bells and whistles laid on the classic Indian game of Pachisi, which Americans sort of renamed to Parcheesi. Parcheesi! 176,622 got Parcheesi. That's what it is. And what it'd be like. For sure. All right. We are moving on to the fifth question. Here we go. Time for question five. Ah, 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 ah. Question five. Question five. Ah, 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 ah. Question five. Woo! What does tugging on your earlobe indicate in charades? Sounds like, say it again, or music. Y'all have play charades? I'm pretty good at it. Okay. Some of the best games out there are free. <laughs> and they're super easy to learn. Yeah, you can Google the rules for charades in a second, and they'll tell you that the earlobes mean sounds like. Sounds like 204,918 know what it is. Y'all been playing your charades, you're getting ready for family game night here on HQ Trivia. So we're going to keep it moving, keep it pushing to question number six, just like this. Here we go. What is printed on the green cards in apples to apples? Nouns, adjectives, or verbs? What's it going to be? I guess, I guess you kind of call this game... Uh, Cards coexisting with humanity, you know? If you want to talk about cards against humanity, join us for HQ After Dark. Ooh. Oh, yeah. But in Apples to Apples, players judge the best matches between red card nouns and green card adjectives. 77,419 got adjectives. I am very excited about HQ After Dark and hope that it comes soon. <coughs> Question seven, here we go. Which is not one of the resources in Settlers of Catan? Brick, water, or lumber? 
Settlers of Catan. Haven't played Catan yet? What are you waiting for? It's pretty much the biggest hit of the whole uh, Euro game movement. So there's a good chance you at least know someone who knows that there aren't any water cards. Water is missing. Or if you're somewhere around Maryland, water. No thanks. A glass of water? They don't even sound refreshing. Water. Mm -mm. All right, question number eight. Hope you're feeling great, babies. Here we go. What is the name of this game? Is it Quirrell, Quirkle, or Squirkle? Hmm. Quirrell, Quirkle, or Squirkle? Love Scrabble but hate the words? Just kidding. That would be ridiculous. Maybe you love words, but you also like tile-based logic games, in which case you're probably definitely, you know, you know, you can't do any better than Quirkle. Quirkle is the name of the game, 116,433. Got Quirkle, and you still here with me. We're moving on, babies, to question number nine. Hope you're feeling fine. Let's get to it. Okay, which of these games is designed to be more about cooperation than competition? Pandemic, Carcassonne, or Ticket to Ride? It's not always about trying to crush your family and friends. I mean, it almost always is, uh, but there's nothing better than crushing your own family. But sometimes you have to band together, literally, you know, to save the world from a deadly disease, AKA pandemic, y'all. 91,555 got pandemic. It's time for question 10. Here we go again, my friends. Time to get it in, all right? Question 10. Question 10, question 10. Toss Across is a skilled game based on what older game? Pente, Tic-Tac-Toe, or Connect Four? Toss Across, what's it gonna be? It's not often that a game of strategy graduates to incorporating beanbag throwing. I wonder if chess is gonna get there. Uh, hmm. But that really shows how simple and universal the classic game of Tic-Tac-Toe is. Tic-tac-toe, babies. 73,169 got tic-tac-toe. And I uh, see some extra lives getting dropped right about now. That's smart. We got five more questions, so let's get it. All right. Question number 11. All dogs go to heaven. What cards are there fewest of in a standard Uno deck? Reverse, zero, or draw two? Hmm. I, I could play some Uno. I'm down. All right, with 108 cards, the Uno deck is bigger than two poker decks because Uno is twice as powerful as poker at tearing people apart. And because Uno gives you a lot of everything, including eight of every number, well, almost, you only get four zeros. Four zeros, 29,651. Got that one right. Congratulations, because there's, there's, only, there's only four zeros in a Uno deck. What rules do y'all play Uno by? I know a lot of people be arguing about the house rules, and I guess it varies from, from party to party. But if you come at me with some weird Uno rules, I'm leaving. Straight up. Question 12. What's that smell? Smells like money. Here we go. Very early editions of the Game of Life closely resembled what other game's board? Monopoly, Checkers, or Backgammon? Game of Life. Looks a lot like... One of these three options. Many generations have given that plastic spinner a whirl. But the game of life is an old, old game. Nearly as old as the game of life that we're uh, living. Behold, from before Lincoln, before he was president, the checkered game of life. Checkers. Ooh, that's savage. Savage question song. Sorry you got it wrong. Savage question song. That's a savage question song. Yes. <gasps> Lot of extra lives getting used right now. You're glad you held on to them, I bet. Here we go. Question 13. Is simulated in the game Pit. Investing, car repair, or mining? Hmm. Hate taking turns? Then check out Pit. 
It usually involves a whole lot of screaming as people move cards back and forth until someone corners the market in a simulation of Chicago's Board of Trade, which is basically just investing. It's an investing game. 11,987 got investing. Y'all been playing pit. About to fall into a money pit, hopefully. With two questions left, let's get into it, all right? Here we go, question number 14, babies. Who hosted all four editions of the video game Hasbro Family Game Night? Was it Professor Plum, Mr. Potato Head, or Rich Uncle Pennybags? Who's it gonna be? All right, Hasbro doesn't just own games. They have a whole collection of characters. Even the Hungry Hungry Hippos each have names. Did y'all know that? And one of the busiest characters still had time to host a bunch of game nights. Mr. Potato Head, check it out! We kind of look alike, except he's got like a Ryan Seacrest haircut going on and a bow tie. Never mind, we got 9,943 of y'all moving on to question 15! Question 15, you know what I mean! Question 15, that's the number on the screen. About to win some money that's green. That's question 15. Here we go. Which of these is not a real world Monopoly edition? Golden Girls Monopoly, Miami Dolphins Monopoly, or Funopoly? What's it gonna be, babies? Okay. There's an awful lot of Monopolies out there, okay? And an awful lot of editions of the Monopoly board game. Boom! Business joke. There's even been a bunch of fictional Monopoly editions on The Simpsons, including Funopoly. Funopoly was the answer. Who got it? Who just won? We got 3,905 winners of HQ Trivia tonight. Get up for yourself. That's right. Music Chick, congratulations. Annex, Blocks, BLX Dog, Pops, 2009, congratulations. Mercy Mar, Crystals, Subinoy, Marin, all of y'all just did it. All 3,905 of you. Just one HQ trip. Wow, that's amazing. I'm amazed. And I'm so circle. I've been your host, Matt Richards. At Matt was funny. Check out my fish tank updates, all right? Family game night continues with words at 9.30, so check it out. If you know how to spell, you know how to win, okay? Come back tomorrow for Rock vs. Hamilton trivia. I'll catch y'all on the flippity floppy. Pew, 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 pew.